Shall we go? I think we should go to Apirinthos next. This is the marble village in the. This is the wealthiest village on the island, and uh, the streets are made of marble, as you'll see. <laughs> uh, it's very beautiful. There's a wonderful. It's probably the best food on the island. And this wonderful taverna there, left there is. And uh, oh, it's a night. Nice, are you hungry? I am actually. Are you? Then let, yes. Uh, well, this is the place. Oh, okay. That's the best place to eat then. Oh, then that's Let's go there eat. first. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That'll give us the energy that we need to for the afternoon. The show. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Calimera says. Calimera. You can see it's quite unspoilt out here still, and the last thing the locals want out here is it to be just uh, a theme park. I mean, that's the real worry. The town council right now is turning into sort of Naxo Disney, and it's a real worry. There. But, but luckily the land is so inhospitable, so much of it, this rocky terrain. So this is Siphonus, as you can see, uh, it's a bit of a ruin. Uh, people are just starting to move back here slowly now. Naxos was occupied by the Germans in the war and they took all the food and many villagers actually died throughout the island and this was one of the worst, worst hit places, this little village of Siphonus. Virtually everybody starved. Uh, and the town, has, the village, has been uninhabited for 50 odd years. And slowly, families are moving back in. They're setting up, they're growing some grapes over there now. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of the houses, you can see, are still deserted. They've, got, they've just been allowed to fall apart. It wasn't a deliberate attempt to starve people or anything like that. Rather, when the, uh, the Italians left and the Germans came and took over the occupation, um, Hitler just requisitioned all the food he could from the Greek islands and elsewhere and had it all shipped north uh, to feed the German troops in, uh, in Italy and uh, in Germany. Uh, and, you know, Greece was stripped bare. Um, so it wasn't as if there was just a deliberate attempt to starve the villages or anything like that. Just that everything, minerals and uh, food, was just shipped out of here. Is like this is spectacular out here. This is totally spectacular. Oh, but, but wait, so you're, you're, I mean, this is only the beginning of it. Now you will like this village, okay, and you will like the food, especially. So here we are, we're entering Apirinthos, the marble village, as it's sometimes called, the wealthiest uh, of the villages in Naxos. And its wealth all comes from emery, the emery mines, which were functioning until quite recently. In fact, they're still functioning on a small scale. As you can see, all the streets are paved with marble. The courtyards are marble. The street in marble. The steps are marble. Uh, the whole place is marble. It is an amazing is village, isn't it? Village. Oh, it's fantastic. How, how large is the village? It's about three, 300 people, 400 people. But it's impossible to buy anywhere here. So Why? They, they won't sell. They're okay. very proud and they just want to keep the village themselves. Um, it's a, you'll see the view as we come around here is quite extraordinary. But again, all the way through, marble. It's, uh, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, all these steps are still marble. Look at that view through that doorway. Yeah, the Venetians occupied the island in 1207 and uh, hung on to it till about 1566, I think, when the Turks took it. This is one of the most famous tavernas on the island, Lefteris Taverna, and it has spectacular food, and we're going to eat here now. <laughs> So we could eat down here in the courtyard, if you like. Over here? Sure. And what is that? 
this is local wine, made in Pinatos. It's a local rosé. Mmm. It's amazing. Mmm, wonderful. Yeah. Quite different, isn't it, from it anything is else you've tasted? Well. Yeah. It's, it's fabulous. Tart. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is really fresh, straight from the barrel. Mm. People very friendly here, especially in this village. Um. So, you know, the, the, the island's basically divided into two. This is the beginning of the other side of the island, and the, there's a lot of animosity between the two, the lowlanders and the highlanders. Is there? And these people from this village, they claim to be of Cretan stock, to come from Crete, but they also be claim to be descended from Barabbas when he was released by Pontius Pilate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The story is that Barabbas went to uh, Crete afterwards, and then he was kicked out of Crete, and he came and set up shop here. And this village actually are all descendants of Barabbas. That's the local. The people up here tend to be a bit more sophisticated. Up here in Apirinthos, there are lots of university professors and doctors and lawyers and uh, academics and painters and sculptors and writers mm. come from this village. It's very famous throughout Greece, this village, for, uh, for this. And whereas, you know, Hora down in the main town, it's famous for, you know, pizza and uh, coke and beer and, you know, holidaying, party. And, and the people here look down on them, you know, physically look down on them and, and sort of metaphorically look down on them and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and think that they're sort of cheap, low life and, and they see themselves as more superior and more refined up here. And it's true. Now this is? This is, this is uh, Melissa, it's eggplant uh, roasted with these local cheeses inside it in this clay pot. And this is the speciality of Lefteris, of this restaurant. You're going to love it, Gina. I can tell I already do. <laughs> <laughs> well, how is it? I need more wine. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You gotta come to Greece, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a gourmet there, do you know? We'll have to twin Naxos with Nantucket, I think. I think yes, it's only a matter of time her. now, I think. That is beautiful. Isn't that wonderful? It's exquisite. Look at this. That's the coolest thing. What is that? That's some sort of onion. Oh, it's beautiful. Now this road we're going to go down, this is the place I started to drive again in my life, This before this road was properly paved. Uh, in 1992 I had a car crash in, in uh, California and I rolled my Alpha down the side of a hill on Highway 1 and somehow I got out alive with just a few broken ribs and uh, a lot of bruising. This guy doesn't want to drive. Blame him. Oh, it's just really incredible. So those little islands there, the Makaris, are owned by the uh, monastery over on Amogos. It's a sacred holy island. Holy islands, the Makaris. Islands of the blessed, it means, literally. Islands of the of blessed? Of the blessed, yeah. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? This is absolutely unique down here. The, the village we were just in, Apirinthos, all their money, was basically come from the emery and marble trade, uh, in particular the emery trade. You know, they used to ex export this all over the world, and it is the finest source of emery in the entire world. The stuff would be transported down the mountains in these, in these overhead containers to this uh, big pile here, and then they would roll it out on these rollers out and load it up onto the ships here, and off it would go to Odessa and Smyrna and Marseille. But the trade's really dead now because of uh, synthetic substitutes. Carburun oh, wow. Carburundum. Yes, right. It's, it's so strong, it's friable. The, that's the material, the, the surface breaks down as, you, as you're filing. It, it cracks away and it bears on into the, the other substance you're filing. And so it wears away eventually, and then the, the dust that comes off is what they make emery boards from, or used to. Peatskill, New Jersey. Sure. Yeah, that's, they also have it there, but it's not as high quality as this. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, Germania. Oh, oh, he Anglos. English. Anglos, America. English, America. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Smerilia, yeah? Nero, Nero. Ne, ne. Oh, if I stop, I'll
He was offering us some water. Ah, oh. very kind. Forest. So look Smirina, at this. Smirina. Smirina, yeah. Yes, yeah, Smirina. Emery, Smerilia. Smeri. Is this his house? Yeah. Wow. And he used to work on the Emery mines years ago. Oh, he did. And uh, about five years ago, I interviewed him and got a lot of information about the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So there it is. Shall I stop all three? Yes, yes. Mihra. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love this industrial waste. Yeah, I do too. Well, this is. That's a piece of emery, yeah. Look, he's look, he's still sitting there while she's whitewashing the wall. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Look at the, you go. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's the old cheese uh, dairy cooperative that got abandoned. Didn't uh, it failed somehow? Oh yeah, yeah. Oops. Every church has uh, loads of icons in. Yeah, and that seems to be the main purpose of them now. I think. When you listen to the radio, yeah. I've noticed that you pick up a lot of different kinds of stations. Are you? Can you hear Turkey? I don't think so. I think okay. they're just loaded, loaded. All the islands have their own radio, at least oh. one, maybe two. So, you know, you get the, oh, on the other side, you get the Paros station very well. Here you get Kofanisi's. No, probably Kofanisi hasn't got one. You're going to be out here alone, or you gonna have, you got a, you got a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, I've got a girlfriend. She's been down here. Where does she well, live? She lives in London at the moment. Oh, she okay. Move to Manhattan in the very near future. But she's off to Vanuatu. She's doing field work. Where? Anthropologist. She's going off to Vanuatu, which used to be called the New Hebrides, uh, to do some field work. She's an anthropologist. Oh, really? Yeah. You think you're going to marry her? Yeah. She know. Well, I'm just <laughs> wondering. I say, Mr. Director, uh, interviewer, you're getting rather personal, aren't you? <laughs> she's a very mature 23, and I'm a very immature 42. So we meet around 33. It's perfect. See, the electricity lines are all in all the way down now. This oh, is, wow. This is really just a few weeks that had this uh, connected. This is, this, this is where this you're... This is my land down here. Oh, this is Look at that little bay. It's so beautiful. And the water's so warm in that bay. See, I think, I think this is the spot. I really do. 